And I'm sorry there's no picture. Uh, my webcam does work, but I don't no picture, so I'm just going to continue, okay? So our mutual friend Angel had mentioned that Ormus would be and asked me to share with you. And it's going to be a lot of writing. So let me just spend a few moments and get you the core information and then and communicate with me or do your own search from what I'm sharing. And of course, this information is for, for anybody who's watching this. Ormus are trace minerals that we collect from a natural source. And we need the trace minerals in our body to run. Our hormones are made from our glands, and our glands require trace minerals in order to make the hormones or act upon the hormones. And the glands are what run the body. Everything that happens in the body is run by some action of the glands via its hormones. I mean, everything from you feeling like you're awake or feeling like you're tired. My cat's trying to get on top of my computer um, to the tears that come out of your eye ducts, the digestion process in your body, your adrenal system fighting off infections. Actually, when you look at the necessities of our body, our first necessity is water. Our second necessity is oxygen. Our third necessity would be the trace minerals. And then we get in the other adjuncts, um, like our food and sunlight, okay? So trace minerals are very important. And when you go to buy trace minerals, you have a plethora of forms. The Ormus form is the one that is the most preferred because the trace mineral is attached to an oxygen and a hydrogen. And the body knows what to do with oxygen and hydrogen. That's your water. So it easily removes the oxygen and the hydrogen and therefore releases the trace mineral in a form that's easy for the body to absorb and use. That's it in a nutshell. Now, the Ormus is called Ormus. Um, it's just like a name. You really, you know, it's an awkward name, but that's the one that's been around since the mid-1990s and nobody's done anything to change it. Somebody will say it's something like marvelous minerals or a fantastic minerals. But what you're bringing into your body are the trace minerals that it needs and as Everybody nowadays knows our foods don't contain any or enough trace minerals because the soils have been overworked. They're not allowed to rest and they're not reintegrated with biological material of the plants that had been from the previous harvest so that the soil can incorporate trace minerals from their decay. Instead, the plants are just removed from the soil because they get in the way of the roots of the new plant and they want those new plants to give them their harvest. And so we need trace minerals and the Ormus form is the best. So here you go for information and it'll be rapid paced. I have a website that has everything of information that you will need on your trail all in one area. On the left side of the website is Ormus Academy, and my colleagues and myself put together 25, 27 learning units. It's not fluff. Uh, it, it's going to be packed full of information about Ormus, what it's doing, why it's doing what it's doing, and the benefits of it. So I want to tell you about Ormus Academy. And it's also Googleable in case you forget the name of the website. I'm Chris Emmons, and the website is called EmmonsEssentialEssence.com. By the way, a little chirping in the back is my lovebird. He's out here with me. This is very casual chit chat with you, okay? The second thing that's on the website is um, the store page because I was told by people that to give information of Ormus and then leave them on their own was really not helping to the fullest degree. 
and that I did need to offer Ormus. Uh, I did need to offer um, things made with Ormus to give people an idea of one, here's the Ormus, try it out. And also on the website, and here's with the Ormus, what you can do is you can make other useful things like add the trace minerals to lotions and facial products and massage oils, etc. So the, the shop page is to help people move along prior to them uh, being prepared uh, um, to, to collect Ormus for yourself. Because that's my highest goal uh, in my mission statement is that people learn about Ormus and that it is useful for your life and, and then get Ormus and then learn to make it yourself so you will always have it. And to that regard, the website also has do-it-yourself Ormus making kits. So really that's it in a nutshell for the hardcore data. The Ormus form of the trace minerals contains the trace minerals, which you would call the body, the physical body. It's in this three-dimensional uh, realm that we live in. And then the Ormus, we believe, contains the life force of the trace minerals, which would be the programming of the trace minerals that came from above. The above would be above our third dimension realm. And that all of the matter of our realm did form from a non-form, a formless form from the above with the innate program installed with it so that it would, as it came into this dimension and formed, it would form via its own specific, specified characteristics like um, the shape of the trace mineral, the activity of the trace mineral, etc. So when you're taking the Ormus, you're taking the body of the trace mineral, which would be the form that we recognize in this realm. And you're also getting the energy from the trace mineral, which we call the M state, which stands for the metaphysical state, um, the M state, the, the state that came from the above. Now, this really has been just a toe-in for maybe, you know, 10 minutes or so. It gives you everything you need to take a deep dive. You know, on the shop page, there's also the book I wrote, Ormus Modern Day Alchemy. And I do suggest that everybody have that book. You know what I've been reading, and I do believe this is so, is that the Internet, while we think it's a source of information, Really, to the controllers, it's a source of the control of information because if they don't allow it or put it or hide it on your search engines, then you never know about it. So I think it's good to have three-dimensional books. And that just read, a, just watched a video about the importance of that. Tucker Carlson mentioned the necessity just recently, like in the past week, of the importance to have books. So the Ormus Modern Day Alchemy is on the website. It's also available at Amazon. And because I was asked, I did uh, open it up on Amazon as Kindle. But I think I think everybody should have the book in a three-dimensional form. And so you got what you need to learn to see if it interests you. I can't stress the importance of trace minerals in the body. And while a lack of trace minerals or a under underachieving of trace minerals is not going to necessarily kill you, it is going to cause a life that is lived with less vitality, a brain that is active with less activity, immune system with less immune uh, capabilities, and so it's kind of like that dog you see by the side of the road that has been malnourished. Malnourished is a good word. And they're just laying there and they kind of look dead, but they're not dead. The trace minerals just fire up our system because our system needs them. 
There's a book out there called Minerals for the Genetic Code because our DNA actually, can, the um, coiling of our DNA actually contains trace minerals. So we need it everywhere from our, our physical plant, our biological systems, all the way down to our, 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 our DNA. I hope this has been helpful for you, Andrea. I hope it gives you a start on where to go. Uh, Ormus Academy is your first go-to place, in my opinion. And that's on EmmonsEssentialEssence.com. And then either getting the Ormus or, um, or getting the book would be next in line. And then enjoying the experience and noting changes. Changes can be subtle and changes can appear very quickly. And changes can also be not subtle, but quite apparent, but take a long time to see, you know, months and months. Um, it really depends on the individual and the state of their diet and their lifestyle. And uh, one thing that I can suggest when you take the Ormus is to keep a notebook next to your bed and either before you go to bed or first thing in the morning, note how you feel um, and then just make it a quick jot, okay? And then watch that book over the course of the week because we tend to re forget what happened yesterday or the day before. That's just part of our traits is that for the most part, we live in the present moment unless we've been aggravated by a past moment and we can't let it go or we're worried about a first moment, a future moment, and we can't let it go. So that notebook will be very helpful. I think that I've chatted with you long enough for me, you not to get fatigued. So I'm going to sign off, but I am here for you just as Ormus researchers were there for me uh, back in um, 2004. Have a good day. Or have a good night. I'm sorry there's no picture. I don't know how to fix that. And it's... Um, 1242 in the morning, like the midnight, and I'm going to sign off now. Bye.